They've gone from being worshipped like gods, to helping defend ancient boats from vermin, to now being our domesticated felines. And we wouldn't have it any other way. Cats come in all sorts of shapes and sizes. There are breeds with plenty of fur, like the Norwegian forest cat, but there's also hairless, like the Sphinx. Today, we're going to see some of the strangest domestic cat breeds in the world, as well as see how much they cost. So let's get started. The cat breeders of the world love to develop new breeds by combining a domestic cat species with a wild one. Well, that's exactly what happened with the Caracat. It's created by breeding an Abyssinian cat with a Caracal. Caracals were used for hunting in ancient Egypt. The very rare Caracats can be up to 19.7 inches and weigh 33 pounds. Instead of meowing, these cats like to screech. Due to their wild side, many owners will declaw these felines for safety. However, other people do believe that this is a cruel practice. The process of breeding caracats is difficult, as many don't survive birth. Due to their rarity, they're very pricey to buy. Only around 30 caracats exist in the world. As a result, caracats can go for as much as $22,000 from breeders. The caracal, which is only allowed in certain U.S. states, can be bought by breeders online, all for the cost of $8,000. With caracals needing a diet of two to three pounds of meat per day, the cost of owning this wild feline can be very high. These little werewolves are called Lycoi. The breed was first discovered in 2010 and registered as an official breed in 2011. The werewolf appearance comes from a mutation in the gene of a short-haired cat that produced the first Lycoi. Lycois are often compared to the appearance of a sphinx cat, but with more hair. Yet after DNA analysis, scientists discovered that they had no relation to the hairless feline. Lycoys are said to be very friendly and have strong attachments to their humans and also enjoy the company of other cats and dogs as well. And since they're still a relatively new breed, Lycoys can go for a hefty sum. Prices start at around $1,500 and can go up to $2,500. Due to their unique look, many cat lovers want to get their paws on a Lycoy, so the waiting list for getting one from a breeder is said to be very long. This further adds to the breed's price. Lycoys are also very playful, and specialists encourage owners to stock up on a lot of cat toys for their mini lichens. So you can expect to pay more than the average cost of $200 per year for cat toys. In its native land of Thailand, the Korat is seen as a creature of prosperity. They're often given as gifts to wish good fortune on family and friends. Korats have short fur with a silver-tipped blue-gray color. They even have heart-shaped heads. Korats are considered one of the oldest cat breeds in the world, yet they didn't appear in the U.S. until the 1950s. The Korat likes to be the one in charge of the household. At least, that's what they think. They love attention and are highly intelligent. They especially like to be around other Korats. They also enjoy affection from their humans. The Korat is relatively cheap compared to many of the cats that we've looked at so far. The price of buying from a breeder is between $500 to $800. But if you're a first-time cat buyer, that's not the only expense. The average cost of owning a cat is said to be around $800 per year, with the first year being closer to $1,200. Over their lifetime, the cat could cost you between $7,600 and $12,500. Yet some estimations state that it could be even three times as much. Another kitty that was created with a domestic breed and a wild one. The first Savannah cat was created in 1986 by breeding a male serval with a female Siamese cat. Savannahs are one of the largest domestic cat breeds in the world. They're about two and a half times bigger than the average cat. On average, a Savannah can weigh between 15 to 20 pounds. On occasion, they can go beyond 25 pounds. They're a playful and curious breed. Since Savannahs come from a wild lineage, the cost of owning one can be very pricey. Estimated fees are between $1,000 to $20,000. The vast pay difference depends on how far removed they are from their nearest serval ancestor. For example, an F1 savanna will be the very first generation of the hybrid. Due to this, they possess 50% serval DNA. The effort to breed an F1 is incredibly hard, so the cost increases as a result. The price of owning a serval to breed with is around $5,000. With a nickname like the Gentle Giant, it already sums up what the Maine Coons are like. They're large, fluffy, and friendly felines that often look like actor Ron Perlman. They can be nearly three feet long from tail to nose. The current world longest domestic cat is a Maine Coon at 3.11 feet. This breed is said to be intelligent, playful, and gentle. If you want a dog but can't have one for whatever reason, the Maine Coon might be the perfect pal for you. In fact, in the US's first cat show in 1895, a Maine Coon called Cozy took top prize. These kitties also love the water, once again going against the cat stereotype. Due to their great reputation, the Maine Coons can be pricey to purchase, with a lowest estimated fee of around $1,000. A 10-week-old male purebred is valued at around $1,500. Maine Coons can even go for much more, with further estimates coming in at between $2,000 and $3,500.
Selkirk Rexes are known for their unusual curly coat, almost as though they've just gotten out of the shower. They're similar to the La Perm breed, but Selkirks have a thicker coat. The breed first came into existence in 1987 from a rescued cat. The humans noticed that one of the kittens had a vastly different coat to its littermates. The father is unknown, but we don't think a sheep was involved in any way. The kitten was then taken to a breeder, and thus the new breed was born. The curly fur comes from a dominant gene. Not every litter will produce a Selkirk. These cats love to cuddle with humans. They're also pretty laid back, which is great since their coat needs regular brushing. As for the cost of owning one of these cuddly cats, they can be bought from a breeder from between $500 to $1,500, depending on its parentage and breeder reputation. But if that's out of your budget and you still want to touch that fur, you can adopt a Selkirk Rex from various animal shelters. The cost is usually between $75 to $150. The Oriental Shorthair is a hybrid cat mixed together with many other species during its creation. Siamese, British Shorthairs, Abyssinians, and Russian Blues are just some of the cat breeds suspected to be involved. These kittens become very attached to the humans in their lives. They're athletic and are often seen imitating old-school Mario by bouncing from platform to platform inside homes. The Oriental Shorthairs are also intelligent and very vocal. The cost of purchasing an Oriental Shorthair varies on whether you want them from a championship breeder or just a pal around the apartment. For a typical short hair, the price in the U.S. is between $600 to $1,500. But those looking for a fancier feline, they can cost between $1,500 to $3,000. Since the short hairs love to jump, you could always splash out on Catastrophic Creations Garden Complex to keep them happy. This wall-mounted climber currently comes in at $505. Another cat that has wild genes, a Bengal, is a cross between a domestic cat, usually an Egyptian Mao, with an Asian leopard cat. Bengals are easily recognized due to their striking patterned coat. These beauties are known for being very strong and active. It's not often that a Bengal will be found napping during the day. Instead, they like to play and learn. They're very vocal and will natter on most of the time. Bengals also love to play in water. A number of states in the U.S. prohibit Bengals based on their genealogy stemming from a wild species. A lot of hybrid cats tend to be put in the same box as exotic felines. Those in possession of a prohibited Bengal can be fined up to $1,000. Yet, if you're an organization, you'll be looking at a maximum fine of a mammoth $10,000. If you're in a state that says it's okay, you can get a Bengal for between $1,000 to $1,500. Bengals that are closer to their leopard lineage, just like the savannas, you're looking at a higher price price, to the tune of between $4,000 and $10,000. You might recognize this breed of cat from the beckoning cat, the Maneki Neko, throughout Japan. The Japanese bobtails are said to be a sign of good fortune and have a lot of ties to Japanese folktales. What makes this cat stand out is its tiny tail. It's been described as being more rabbit-like than similar to other typical cat breeds. The reason for their unusual tail is down to a genetic mutation. They're very loving and like to communicate in a singing-esque fashion. They're said to be very smart and playful. To get your paws on a bobtail, you're looking at a price of between $800 to $1,500 from a certified breeder. However, as these cats like jumping, you might need to invest in a cat tree, such as the Refined Feline's Crystal Clear Lotus Cat Tower. It's one part art piece and one part cat investment. It uses faux fur perches for your kitty cat to relax in comfort. It can be yours for the price of $5,000. But if that's a little too extravagant, most cat trees are between $50 and $100, depending on size and materials involved. Like many hairless or little-haired cat breeds that resemble real-life Dobby, Donskoy have an interesting story. In 1987, a cat breeder in Rostov-on-Don in Russia rescued a young kitten from the streets. After four months, the cat suddenly lost its fur. On later examination, they realized they had a new breed on their hands. Donskoys are often born hairless. Sometimes they're born with fur and yet lose it as they grow. The lack of hair is due to a dominant mutation in the genes. They're social, friendly, and an extremely loyal breed. Despite their lack of fur, they still need regular grooming to remove excess oil and dead skin cells from their bodies. Hairless and little-haired cats can be pricey, especially as people with allergies to cats tend to do better with those without fur. Donskoy kittens can bring in a fee of around $1,000, even going well over $2,000 in some cases. The price of an older Donskoy, they can go from $500 to $1,000, depending on lineage. Bonus image! This bizarre picture shows a cat with short ears, tail, and fur. It could be a new breed finding its way into the world, or perhaps it's a kitty that's been injured and recently received treatment. Let us know which in the comments. We finish off with this majestic and angry-looking kitty. It looks like a hairless breed, such as a sphinx, experimenting with cosplaying as a lion. But maybe it's an unusual species that causes a mane to grow but leaves the rest of the body hairless? Let us know what you think in the comments below.
And that's it. Do you own any of these unique cats? If so, pop your comments down below. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. All of those actions really help us out. Finally, thanks for joining us today. We'll see you next time.